started. Okay, thanks, Megan. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. <clears throat> My name is Ken Alves, and I'm a senior informatics consultant here at CSOLS. I work as a project manager, a business analyst, and a technical resource in the Lab Vantage Limbs Group. I have uh, uh, degrees in both molecular biology and computer science, and I've been working for the past seven years as an informatics consultant, uh, specifically for limbs implementation and especially for implementations of lab vantage limbs. I have extensive experience in different types of laboratories, including pharmaceutical research and QC labs, biobanking laboratories, food testing labs, consumer products labs, such as cosmetics, and in the petrochemical industry laboratories. Before, <clears throat> before working as a consultant, I spent 25 years in pharmaceutical research working in discovery groups for biologics, vaccines, and small molecules. While in the industry, I was involved in the discovery of two products that are currently on the market. And while working in the pharmaceutical industry, I also worked in the areas, the area of bioinformatics, specifically developing applications for DNA and protein sequence analysis. I also have certifications from the Project Management Institute, which includes the PMP certification for project management and the PBA certification for business analysis. So I'd like to start today's talk off by looking at the agenda for today's webinar. So in today's webinar, I'm going to discuss the items you see listed here. I'll begin with our main topic, master data. Basically, I will briefly discuss what master data is and how it differs from other types of LIMS data. I will then go into some of the master data entities that ex exist in the way of Vantage LIMS. After that, I will talk about the master data plan, discussing what, is, what it is and why you need one as part of your LIMS implementation. I will then finish up with a brief discussion of data migration, and then at that point, we can take any questions that you might have. So what is master data? So one common feature of laboratory information management systems, or LIMS, is the need for the creation and maintenance of master data. You may have also heard the term, may have heard the term static data, which is used in other LIMS systems, but the two terms basically refer to the same types of entities. And LabVanish refers to use the word master data. So simply put, master data is the information that needs to be in place in the LIMS in order for users to be able to use the system as intended. Master data includes items like products, tests, specifications, the reagents, the instruments, and users that exist in the system. There's also another type of data that exists in LIMS systems. And that data is transactional data, or dynamic data, as some people call it. Transactional data is the data that users enter as part of their daily activities in the system, such as test results or new batches of the product. A relationship exists between master data and transactional data. So as you can see here in this top left panel, there is a piece of master data for a product called Product X. It defines all the metadata about this product, such as the product type that you can see here. In the lower right panel, I'm showing a piece of transactional data. And in this case, it's a sample that has been logged into the LIMS. And this is a sample of our above Product X. So the only way that this piece of transactional data could be created in the LIMP system by a user is if the master data for the product already exists in the system. So shown here is a list of common pieces of master data that may be needed to be created as part of a lab managed LIMS implementation. This list is by no means meant to be exhaustive and your specific implementation may not need some of the ones listed here. And on the other hand, you may need ones that I have not listed here. Uh, the screen is way too small to list every piece of master data that exists in my advantage. So for example, if you're a pharmaceutical QC laboratory, you may need stability protocols. But if you're a biobanking repository laboratory, excuse me, biobanking repository laboratory, you wouldn't need these. The most important piece of master data is planning it into your implementation. That's something that we'll discuss later. So for the next few slides, I'm going to briefly show some of the lab vantage master data entities that exist in the system, just to give you an idea of the different types you may encounter as part of your implementation. I'm going to begin with users and security. So 
ultimately the most important piece of master data in LampVantage, or for any LIM system for that matter, is users. So obviously, without users, no one would be able to log into the system to work. LampVantage offers various options when setting up users, mostly geared towards security, or basically what a user sees in the system. So seen here at the top is the LampVantage security tram line, which shows all the options that you have available to you. One of the first decisions to be made is the user model to be used. LampVantage supports basically two models, role-based security and job-based security. So behind the scenes, roles determine what functions, such as screens or buttons, are seen in the system by a user. So to use role-based security, I'm showing you a, a very simple example here. You add these roles to the individual users. 